Hi, you're with Martin McKenna, Dreadlock Dog TV. Today's issue, the leash. The many things that would go right and the many things that would go wrong. A few little tips before we start. I always have my own mat here for my dog, okay? So it's always here that I'm clipping him on and clipping him off the leash, okay? If I let him do it there, over here and then over there, he's telling me what to do and he's telling me where he wants the leash put on. And that's a no-no because that makes him very naughty out in the walk. Also here as well, got a leash. Because if I have any problems, here's my best friend, the leash. And I can clip my dog on this and I know I have total control. It leaves my hands free to do what I need to do. So, we've got our mat, we've got our leash, and we've got our leash for our dog. The dog we're about to meet, he's with us about two months now. He's a year and a half old and he's very excitable. And we're going to see if we can get him to calm down and do the right thing for us by going and sitting here in his space. Watch out for little things that he does now, right? If he hits me with his tail or bumps off me or steps on my toes, that's me losing points. Or if I keep my chin down instead of up. I'm going to call him out to us now. Boy, come here. Good boy. Boy, go to your place. You see, he stood on my toes just then. Now look, you see? He stood on my toes. Now he wants to take a different position. This is where we say you give him an inch and he will actually take a mile. So you have to be very stern about this. I'm going to call him deep. He's scratching now, right? But the reason he's scratching is not fleas. That was a conflict moment and he thinks he won. Boy, come here. Sit. Sit. Now I've gone out and get on Manny's place. And I put my chin up in the air. Maybe even look at the ceiling which makes my chin even go higher. He's off his position again. This is patience. Back. Sit. Good boy. Stay. Stay. And I'm not shouting it at him. I'm just calmly putting my hand out. Say stay. Now, I'm going to put the leash on. See the way he's nudging me there, okay? And now he's lying down and he's rolling over on top of me, okay? That's his way of saying, I don't want the leash on. So, in, if I do that, well, I'm just going to tip him back on his leash. See the way he's grabbing me with his paws. He's trying to control this walk. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk away for a second. Ooh, I've got to turn my back on him. I've got a few minutes to do this if I can go on for the walk and I'll start the game. Boy, come. Sit. You see he done his little jump up there? Okay? That little jump up was like a little act for me to tell me, keep your chin up, Martin. That's the only way I'm going to really sit down. I'll get down again and go to clip him on his leash again. My chin is up in the air. You don't really need to see what it is. You see when his neck keeps turning there? He's trying to push my hand away from the leash, just this point here. Now, if I start patting him in the middle of it and telling him what a good boy he is that he passed that test, immediately he starts to push me over and take over. So there's something there to watch out for. Don't be giving him praise too quickly. What I'm going to have to do again now is head up. Uh, yawn. Look at him by looking around in a circle. I think he's calm enough again now to stand up. Oh, goodness me. Now, watch where he's standing now. He's come off his place, okay? So we just gently go put him back. Back on your place. Sit down. We're not taking all those yards. Sit. Good boy. I'm going to stand here where he was standing just now. And what I'm saying to him is... No, I don't want you coming off that mat until I'm absolutely ready. And there was the leash off. But it doesn't mean he can go anywhere, okay? And what I do is I stand slightly in front of my dog. And you can see that I'm on a pencil leash here. But again, if I decide to lose the plot and go, Oh, you're the best boy for doing that. You're such a good boy. You're such a good fellow. Well done. See the way he went to hit me with his paw just then? Now he's going wherever he wants, he's walking around me, and he'll ignore me. So, when you're putting the leash on, I know you want to pat your dog, and you want to tell him what a great dog they are. But please, just leave it a little bit. Afterwards, down the road a bit, you can give him a nice scratch behind the ears, which will really help him. Up goes my chin again. A little bit of a yawn. Sit. Good boy. Sit. And now I have full control when I'm going to walk this dog. A few little things now just before we're going to do across here. Here's a doorway, alright? 
and I want to be seen to go through that doorway first at all times. Sometimes I even scratch my feet on it. Do you know the way you wipe your feet at the front door? See the way he turned his head away when I did that? He turned his head away because that was a dominant thing for me to do. I'm leaving my scent mark at the doorway. And what I'm saying is, it's my doorway and I go through it first. It's alright, you get pulled all over the place. Again, we're going on a pencil leaf. Stairs are the same again. I want him to stay a little bit back from me. I close my eyes and I sweep my hand back and he turns his head away. So, chin up again. I look exactly where I'm going. He's standing beside me. That's okay. I'm not a dictator and I don't believe you should be a dictator to dogs. It's all in the general ballpark. And with a confident little step, I'm going to wander off down the stairs. Back. See the way he's doubling across me? Whoa. See the way he doubles across me there? He thinks that I'm a bit of a cow or a sheep or something, that he was going to move along and make me go faster. So if your dog is doing that behind you, weaving behind you, just stop. Just say, oh, I'm not having that. Put my chin up in the air. And basically I'm not having any of that. As a matter of fact, I might come back up the stairs for a second. Because I want to show my dog, no, you can't do that to me. I will not be rushed along, especially down the stairs. Come, stay back. Stay back. Wait. Wait. As you can see, a lot different that time. Because I'm in a lovely, confident posture. My chin is well up in the air. So he can see that I'm the one that's in control here and not him. And so quickly there we have how you put your dog's leash on. How you deal with some stuff that he does that you don't want him to do. And you end up with a dog that's stay back, nice and calm and relaxed. Until next time, please practice this. One thing I forgot to tell you, please. If your dog is mucking up in any stage up there, when you have him on this leash, you can also just walk into him and he gives the ground. Once he gives the ground with the chin up in the air, it's like, there you go, I took the ground from you. This is telling your dog, I own everything around here and the reason is I need to keep you safe because there's lots of things you can't do. So enjoy practicing this, okay? And remember patience and a good strong chain are the order of the day. Okay, that went reasonably well for a young dog and I'm very proud of him. But how would it go if I'd done everything wrong? Would we see a different dog? Let's find out. I'm going to do absolutely everything wrong the opposite way now that I did the last time. Boy, come here. Come here. I'm going to bend down. I'm going to push back out of the way. He stepped on my toes. He's pushing inside and put, leaning on top of me, rolling me back, making me rub his chest. Good boy. Oh, he's the best boy. Do you want to go for a walk? Come on. Come up and say hello to me. Come here. Come here. Come up and say hello to me. Good boy. Now he's left some, some marks on my chest, which is telling everybody now that he's better than me. He's having a half-time drink because he's really excited about what's happening now. So watch what I do next. I go to him, right? I, go, I didn't let him come to me. I went to him. And while I was putting on the thing, I, didn't, I decided I wanted to give him a good scratch. And a, you're the best boy. And of course, immediately he's in on top of my space, stepping on my toes, demanding with his head. Now I'm going to somehow let him play around and try and get this leash on. Now I've got the leash on, now I go to him. Let's go for a walk. Well, he's out in front of me already, okay? And so, come on. Good boy. Oh, he's the, oh, he's the best boy. He's the best boy. As you can see, he's pulling me down the stairs. He's now trying to pull me everywhere. Whoa, up my back. He now is a totally different dog. I'm letting him go off on his own, see what he can do. Good boy, come on. Are you going to go for the walk? Again, he's winning. He's running across from me, pulling the leash out of my hands, and he's talking total confusion. Okay, you can probably hear him. He's panting in total excitement. Now he wants to smell everything. It's all his decision what happens now. So if another dog or another person came around here, he'll have full control to do whatever happens with it. So he's down and he's smelling. He's still. I'm still behind him. And there he is, he's won the, the most important point, which was getting through the gears. Now, as you can see, his tail is up. Now, what's he doing? 
he's looking for a little row. He thinks he's the new leader now, because there are other big dogs up there. And he just put up his tail and left a smell out to them. He just touched me there on my leg. Again, do you know, he's moving me along now, telling me, hurry on, come on. I'm the leader of this walk, not you. Now, if I really warn him for this behaviour, good boy. Oh, he's that best boy. Oh, he's a good boy. Good boy. See the way he got all attentive now, and I play jump up with him. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Well, oh, as you can see, he'll play if he wants. Now I'm just going to take back control for a minute, okay? I'm going to lift my chin up in the air. I'm going to let all the air out of me. Which says to boy here, playtime is over, man. I'm back in control. And on a finger leash again, back, back, stay. Now again, we have a totally calm, relaxed dog. So you can see... It's not the things we do just because we've got something to do, but that they're really important. Everything that you do with the dog means something. And that something can win and lose you points very valuably, okay? So, I hope you enjoyed today's show. Thanks very much to Boy, who's a very good young dog. He's still entire, like, so he's kind of um, full of energy and zest. And we'll go and get another dog and see what they think about this. Will they do it different? Do I have to do things differently? Do I talk to them? Whatever. We'll see in the next episode. Bye.